बिटवीन ने सेंट्रालिटी बिटवीन ने सेंट्रालिटी इज अ की कंसेप्ट इन नेटवर्क एनालिसिस दैट मेजर्स द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ अ नोड इन टर्म्स ऑफ इट रोल एज अ ब्रिज बिटवीन अदर नोड्स इट क्वांटिफाइज हाउ ऑफन अ नोड एपियर्स ऑन द शॉर्टेस्ट पाथ बिटवीन द पेयर ऑफ नोड्स इन अ नेटवर्क इट इज गिवन बाय द फॉर्मूला बी सी दैट इज बिटवीन ने सेंट्रलिटी ऑफ अ वर्ड टेक्स इज इक्वल टू समेशन ऑफ यू वी बिलोंग्स टू कैपिटल वी सिग्मा यू वी ऑफ कैपिटल वी अपॉन सिग्मा यू वी वेर सिग्मा यू वी ऑफ कैपिटल वी रिप्रेजेंट द टोटल नंबर ऑफ शॉर्टेस्ट पाथ बिटवीन द नोड्स यू एंड वी दैट पासिस थ्रू वी वेर एज सिग्मा यू वी रिप्रेजेंट द टोटल नंबर ऑफ शॉर्टेस्ट पाथ बिटवीन नोड यू एंड वी Now this is a simple graph given to you. It consists of six edges. Now we are supposed to find out the betweenness centrality for node C. We will consider this node C. Firstly, we will be writing out all the possible paths. So write down all the possible paths over here. You have a path from A to B, A to C, A to D. A to E and A to F. Then B to C, B to D, B to E and B to F. Then you have a path from C to D, C to E, C to F, D to E, D to F and E to F. So we have written all the possible paths over here. Now firstly we will be finding out sigma U V. Sigma U V is nothing but shortest paths between node U and V. Now we have written all the possible paths over here. Now we will be finding out sigma u v. That is nothing but shortest paths between u and v. Now first is a b. You have a single direct path, so you can write here one. Then a to d, a to d, you can go from a to c to d. Now we have written all the possible paths to the left hand side now we will be finding out sigma uv that is nothing but shortest paths between the given nodes the first is ab you have a direct edge from a to b so you can directly write one now a to d in order to traverse a to d you have two paths a c d a b c d so shortest path is a c d okay so write it as one then a to e A C D E or you have A B C D E. So shortest path is A C D E. That is you have just a single path, shortest path. So write it one. A to F also you have a single shortest path. So you are supposed to write down how many shortest paths you have over here. Next is sigma U V of V. This is nothing but total number of shortest paths between the node U and V passing through that vertex. A to B. Now you are supposed to find out the betweenness centrality for node C. C is not passing, so it will be zero. Then A to D. In order to traverse path A to D, you have C in between. So this comes out to be one. In order to traverse A to E, yes, you can have A to C to D to E. So you have single shortest path over here. You are passing the node. passing through node c then a to f a c d f yes this is your shortest path and there is a c node in between so you get this as one similarly you can write it over here check for d to e in order to traverse from d to e node c does not come in between so this will come out to be zero similar is for the all the cases now what you are supposed to do find out the betweenness centrality divide this column with this column so 0 by 1 it comes out to be 0 1 by 1 1 one. 1 by 1 1 in this way you will be finding out all this betweenness centrality for each and every node and at the end you are supposed to take a summation of all this so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so betweenness centrality for node c comes out to be 
this is how you will be finding out the betweenness centrality we will consider one more example so this is a simple graph given to you and you are supposed to find out a betweenness centrality for node a this is node a firstly we will be writing out all the possible paths a to b a to c a to d a to e a to f b to c b to d b to e b to f and so on in this way on the left hand side you will be writing out all the possible paths then find out the shortest paths the number of shortest path for each and every node between u and v that is in between b to c b to d b to e find out all the shortest paths over here firstly consider b to c in order to traverse b to c you have a single path one b to d yes single path b to e in order to traverse b to e you can traverse from b to c to f to e or b to a to e so this is the shortest path you have a single shortest path in this way if you consider for node d to e this is your node d to e you can traverse from b a e then d to c to f to e 1 2 3 this is also 1 2 3 so you total you have two shortest paths from node d to e so this comes out to be 2 in this way now find out the shortest paths passing through node a you are supposed to find out betweenness centrality so passing through node a for b to c node a does not come in between so this is 0 see for b to e b a e this comes out to be 1 in this way find out the shortest paths passing through node a and then divide this column by this column and find out its summation you get this betweenness centrality for a as 1.5 similarly you can find out for practice betweenness centrality for b this comes out to be 2.5 betweenness centrality for c it comes out to be again 2.5 betweenness centrality for d comes out to be 0 for e it comes out to be 1 and for f it comes out to be 1.5 you can try this example for your practice.